Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Richard Moglin, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving a brief overview of TradingView, which is a free stock tracking software that is actually very powerful. Um, and over the next couple weeks, I plan on creating a bunch of tutorials about this software as I explore more of its features and its capabilities. So in this video, we're gonna be mimicking our trading template that we created in TC2000 um, and doing it all in TradingView um, so that anybody can use it because it is completely free. There's a couple annoying ads as you can see right here, um, but the result is pretty good and you can see this is what we're gonna be ending up with after today's video. So if you're looking forward to more tutorials with TradingView, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy this video, hit that like button as well. So this is what you're greeted with when you first create your account and launch the charts. So we're gonna be modifying this to get what we want. So first, X out of all the ads. They're kind of annoying, but it's just something that you're gonna to have to deal with. Uh, they don't pop up that often. And I'm gonna kind of minimize this because I really wanna focus on uh, the stock chart and the indicators we're gonna add as of right now. First, let's go over and enter KL, which is just a stock that I'm very familiar with and so that I know what my indicator should look like on this chart. For this main chart, we're gonna be adding a couple moving averages as well as the green dot indicator and Bollinger Bands. And then below the main chart, we're gonna be adding the MACD and Stochastics. And for this free version, TradingView actually limits the total amount of indicators that you can use on a single chart. And we're gonna be kind of getting around that restriction by using their Pine Editor software which is what you can use to create your own indicators. And for this video, I already created the TradingView template code, which you are free to use. I'm gonna be posting the link to that down below in the description. So all you have to do is copy this, paste it in here, and click Add to Chart. And there you go. We, you can see that we've already got our Bollinger Bands, our moving averages, the four day, 10 day, 30 day, as well as the 200 day moving averages. And we're at a very good starting point. So next, this is just personal preference and you can absolutely leave it if that's what you prefer. But I'm gonna change the um, bar style to OHLC bars. And we're also gonna right click here, go to settings, um, change the up color to black and the down color, let's make it a deeper red. So that's just personal preference. So if you prefer that, um, stick with what it was originally. Like I said, there's a couple annoying ads that you have to keep clicking out. Um, but we're already well on our way to making our template, um, which is actually very convenient that you can just kind of copy and paste templates like that using the TradingView software. So it's easy to share something with a friend or somebody you're helping out. So now I'm gonna edit the volume indicator a little bit. Um, we're gonna make the moving average, a 50 day moving average. And let's go over here and make the growing black and the down we'll leave it red. And let's make this moving average of the volume. Let's make that red as well. So now we've got most of our training template already done for us. And now all that's really left is to add both the MACD and the stochastics. So in TradingView, to add an indicator, you go over here and click this um, button right here. And we're gonna search MACD. And there you go, it automatically adds it for you uh, along with the histogram, which is great. And now let's do it one more time and add the stochastic. I can't type, but there we go. We've got the stochastic. And I wanna make this a lot more simple, so we're gonna edit this go to settings and we're gonna make this red, this blue, and this is just really to match up what my template was in TC2000. So again, if you like something better, go ahead and do that. We're gonna get rid of this upper band, lower band, and the background, um, and we're gonna change it to a 10, four, four, stochastic. So there we go, that's exactly what we have in TC2000. And you can see that whenever there is a stochastic cross, the green dot pops up um, and that signifies a good entry point. If you wanna know more about the green dot indicator, the link to that video will be right above in the right hand corner. So go ahead and check that video out. So that is the overall setup for this template. Let's just give 
this main chart a little bit more room to work with. Um, and if you want to actually install my PGO indicator, I have also included on this document the PineScript code for that. Um, so go ahead and try that out. But that's really all I wanted to cover for this video. I do plan on remaking my Bollinger Band Bounce Indicator and posting a video about that in TradingView. So keep on the lookout for that. But otherwise, if there's any other functions of TradingView that you'd like me to go over, I'll be happy to do so. Just let me know in the comment section below. Um, there's a whole lot of different functions offered by this program. So as I grow more experience with it, I'll share what I've learned with you guys. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please give a like and also subscribe if you hadn't already. See you guys in future videos.